And so it is, you know, we do these prayers. We dig deep into ourselves. And what we see is that there is a veil that we can see beyond. We're not just praying to some God out there. We're not just praying to some force out there. We're reminding ourselves in a deep state of meditation, because when spiritual mind treatment is done properly, what happens is we go into this deep state of meditation where we know for ourselves the spirit that we are, where we know for ourselves that we are more than these physical bodies, where we know for ourselves that what is going on in life is larger than we can imagine. This is the beauty of what we teach here and what we know here, is that there is something beyond what we can physically see. And then what happens is something shows up and many say it's a miracle. But for those of us who know this teaching, who live this teaching, what happens is, is it's the inevitable outcome of the prayer we've been doing. And so, Prayer here is, is not the same as it is for every other Christian or Hindu or Buddhist religion or philosophy. This is different. This is our way of reminding ourselves of the truth. This is not a way of asking for help from something out there. This is not our way of asking for intervention or saving. It is our way of reminding ourselves that who we are, the heart, the soul, the basis of our beingness in the world is this creation, is this knowingness is what shows up in our lives. This is the beauty of spiritual mind treatment and why Tricia and Michael have shared that with you today and why each week we share these prayers. They are not an asking. And that is the most important thing to remember about our teaching is we are never asking. We are declaring and reminding ourselves of the truth of who we are. And through that, things show up that others may call miracles. But we know better. We know that it is simply our beingness reaching beyond the veil and bringing back into the physical that which we know to be true. That's what we're doing here. It's incredibly simple, but not easy. Because it's so easy, what is easy, is getting caught up in the physics and the physical of everyday life. That's easy. It's easy to look out our physical eyes and go, this is the events that are going on. This is what's happening to me in my life. This is what's happening to my friends and the, my loved ones in their lives. This is what's happening to our country and to the world. It's easy when we look out these physical eyes to think and see and feel and experience life from that perspective. When in fact, there is something so much more going on. And so we pray. We pray to remember. And that's why it's so important to pray all day. 
as often as you remember to do it. This isn't something just to do once in the morning, maybe once at night and be done with it. I know people who do their treatments in the morning and then go through their day. That's not what this is about. Because as you go through your day, it is easy to forget that spirit is always going on. That, that creative juice, that force is always at work in every given moment. And whatever we are praying, and here's the other piece of this, whatever we are praying, what I mean by that is everything, every thought is a prayer. I know you've heard, many of you have heard that expression. Our thoughts are prayers. Well, it's true. And so being mindful enough to bring us back to the sacredness that Tricia was expressing is incredibly important throughout the day as the drama of life is unfolding before our eyes. Because it is. That drama will continue to unfold before our eyes. And so what do we do with that? Now, there are those who say, well, the more you get a hold of yourself, the better you are to respond instead of react. And I say, well, yeah, that's better than, you know, responding is better than reacting. You get a hold of yourself and, and you give yourself some thoughts about it and you think logically and you think reasonably and you don't get all emotional and crazy. And I say, great, you have made progress. But that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about what others call miracles. I'm talking about a space of spirit that is always available, always, always with us, always is us, always surrounding us. But there's a veil. There is a veil. And our physical eyes have a really hard time seeing beyond it. And this is why prayer is so important. What we call spiritual mind treatment is so important. The first step being, there is only one. There is only one. How many times during the day when life's unfolding do you remind yourself that there is only one? However much it is, I recommend more. <laughs> I recommend it as often as you can remember. There is only one. The second step of treatment is remembering that since there's only one, that means we're that one. Not just everything else. It isn't like there's everything is one and then there's me, you. No, that means we are that one. Oh, I'm that one. I'm that power and presence. That means I have the power and presence to shift my life now, right now. But the thing about this is, as Dr. Holmes stated, transformation does not rectify. It transmutes. This is an incredibly important thing because so many of us Prayer for, pray for fixes. We want to fix the illness we have and get healthy. We want to fix our finances and have more. We want to fix our country and change who's representing us. We want to fix things. And so many of us pray for that instead of remembering that transformation does not rectify. It transmutes. There's something beyond how we're seeing it. And that's what we need to get to. The reason we pray is to see beyond the veil of the physical drama. This is where the mystics go. This is the mysticism that we hear so others, you know, 
Brett, you know, oh, that person, he's a mystic. All he's doing is spending more time in prayer than you, than me. Because that's what it takes. What it takes to constantly see beyond that veil is remembering and falling back into that deep meditative prayer state we call spiritual mind treatment, which is more than just the affirmation of my life works, but it's a deep knowing that of course your life works because it's spirit. And what in spirit doesn't work? What in spirit could be wrong? What in spirit needs rectifying? And there are those who say, well, you know, that's all well and good for spirit, but we're in human form, so of course we have to fix things. And I'm here to say, no. Actually, miracles occur when we realize there's nothing to be fixed. Miracles occur when we realize that all we need to do is transform ourselves into that spiritual nature that we already are to look beyond these physical eyes and see the beauty of spirit that exists in everything at every moment. There is a beauty going on here. Even in a pandemic, there has to be because that virus, COVID-19, is spirit too. It is filled and moves and behaves in the way of spirit. Just like you, just like me, just like all of us. There's something going on here that is so beyond our understanding. And it is through the act of meditative prayer through the act of spiritual mind treatment that we get to remember that. So we don't have to ask for anything to be fixed. We don't have to declare that there is something that needs fixing. We get to transform ourselves back into that state of being that is ours and allow the miracles to unfold that are here to unfold. There is a miracle in the air. It is here for you. It is here for me. It is here for all of us. All we need to do is remember who we truly are. Thank you. I love you. God is the source of all supply. Money is God in action. What I give, I receive multiplied abundantly. All that God is, I am, and so it is.